Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this blog on working in Germany. So in this video, we're going to discuss in details about the work culture in Germany. What are the requirements, job, salary, work visa uh, featuring Ashish. So Ashish is from India and he has done his master's in Germany from Applied Science University and currently he has already got permanent residence. So if you have not checked, check the previous two videos where I discuss about permanent residence in Germany in three years and masters in Germany and in this video we are going to focus on working in Germany so uh, maybe Ashish you can start like in which company do you work for now and what is your field of work and then we can go to the follow-up questions um, yes so currently I'm working for Continental as an embedded uh, software engineer in ADAS projects. ADAS is basically advanced driving assistance systems. To be more precise, um, so I'm working on 360 degree surround view model. Okay, uh, so maybe we can leave the details of where Asis, how you can contact Asis or what are his details in the description below. And you can also obviously go to his LinkedIn profile where you'll find a list of what he's doing and what he has done. Uh, so maybe can you give a, a rough uh, range of the salary even if you cannot disclose it but like a, a bigger range what you can expect each month on a gross level and yeah. how are the taxes like just an idea yes so so after masters you could expect to get somewhere close to fifty thousand euros in some cases uh, so forty eight thousand euros in embedded uh, systems and embedded software engineering uh, that would translate to roughly around 2600 euros per month um, now you, you would be thinking where's the rest my rest of the money going so close to 40 percent of deductions on your gross pay but uh, those 40 percent is not entirely taxes part of it is income tax part of it is going for your social security part of it is going for your pension Part of it is going for your health insurance, so and that's... that is that is the, that is the kind of salary that you can expect right from the start after masters. But after one to two years of experience, you can easily make sixty thousand, more than sixty thousand euros. In some cases, close to seventy thousand euros a year, which would translate to close to close to three thousand five hundred euros a month, including bonus and benefits. Gross. Yeah. Yeah. Netto. Gross is 70,000 euros. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So going to the next question, uh, how is the work culture and do they have like a, uh, I mean, in India you have a hierarchical system. So uh, mostly in European countries and US, like you have a flat structure. So how is the work culture and what type of environment you have? Uh, that is absolutely dependent on the company you are working for mostly in the smaller or mid-sized companies, uh, the hierarchies are mostly flat. So you can contact directly, you can reach out directly to right from the CEO to any other peer. But in mostly in bigger companies, you have to so get through the hierarchy. Uh, you have to contact your line manager first. And then if that's not uh, resolved by your line manager, then you contact your business segment lead and further. So yes, that's the way it is. But the, 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 the culture is very open. Everybody invites uh, so open conversations and colleagues are very open to discussing your professional problems. So I would say that uh, the environment is really encouraging towards um, the employees, the fellow employees. I really like uh, the work-life balance of the German work culture. You get 30 days of holidays every year, 30 days, that's a lot. And if you also check the global average working hour index, Germany on an average works for only 26 hours per week, which is really low as in compared to most of the developed countries. But even after working such lesser hours, Germany uh, is still the biggest economy of Europe and churns out uh, such huge uh, GDP every year, which is amazing. So first point is the work-life balance. The work-life balance is amazing here. Um, secondly, um, you have the flexibility of, of uh, choosing work, tasks, projects according to your interests. 
So mostly in the bigger companies, you get that flexibility. You you have the option of, uh, let's say, for example, you get you are working in a project for a couple of years and you uh, you you realize that you don't get to learn uh, as much as you want to and you want to switch to another project or let's say start your own task or start something uh, so build a new team and start a new uh, start working on a new idea then you are allowed to do so i mean if you are able to convince your management you get to do that so that is also something that is really lucrative here in germany secondly the the, the thing that i don't like here is uh, so germany is not very friendly to ambitious people if you are really really ambitious and if you want to climb up the hierarchy it would uh, really ask uh, for a lot it is uh, it, it would be a tiresome process it would be a very um, very uh, so mentally intensive process that take a lot for a person to actually make it to the top which is uh, which is not as difficult as it is in the US. In US, if you are good and if you are at the right place at the right time, uh, you can make it really big. But in Germany, there is still some time to achieve that in Germany. Yes, so when you are a student, um, obviously you cannot work more than 20 hours per week. But once you are not a student, once you finish your master's or let's say your bachelor's, but you don't have a job contract immediately, then you can enter a job seeker visa or a jobs, job search visa, which is awarded for the next 18 months after you finish your master's degree or your bachelor's degree. And in those 18 months, you are allowed to perform or you are allowed to do any kind of full-time jobs to support yourself financially and ultimately look for a job which would qualify you to get a blue card. So there are many requirements to getting a job in Germany as it is as it is in any other country in the world. But since you asked only about the basic requirements, uh, I would stick to that. The first and foremost requirement is to get a degree. So Germans, they really value university degrees a lot. So the university degrees here are really so, so respected and venerated. So if you have a master's or a bachelor's that uh, already gives you upper hand. On top of that, you have to have projects and internships which are in absolute alignment um, with the job that you're applying to. Secondly, it's very important to fix and plan in which direction you want to take your career, in which uh, sector you want to build your career, in which, what kind of jobs that you want to apply to. And accordingly, you have to plan your internships and projects because that will ultimately lead you into getting the job that you dream. Okay, and what about LinkedIn? Yes, uh, about LinkedIn. So Germany is, um, the German market currently is becoming more and more welcoming towards uh, social networking hiring uh, because Germany currently, as I said, is, uh, is thriving. The economy is thriving. The economy is just ballooning every year. They need tons of tons of engineers to fill the open job vacancies which is why they are um, extensively recruiting on LinkedIn and also on Zing. So Zing is also a web, uh, so social networking website for, uh, for, for, for job recruiters. So yes, so if you, if you are looking for jobs, then I would suggest to uh, connect with recruiters from the companies that you want to apply to and directly contact them and send your resume and be more precise in your message. When you message them, try to uh, try to send them the job link that you want to apply to and to be more uh, professional in your approach. Yes, the most popular job search websites in Germany are monster.de, indeed, uh, stepstone.de, and you can also look for software engineering positions on, uh, on Glassdoor and also on Stack Overflow. Okay, so we'll leave all the links in the description below. Um, so it is true but then it depends upon the company and also on the position. For example, there are many companies who are working for German clients. For example, that you are applying for a job in a service-based company who are providing services to a German, German client. So in that case, if you apply for an engineering position, let's say a software engineering position, most of the tickets or most of the communication will happen in German. And in that case, it becomes mandatory to have the German to have the basic German proficiency. And if you don't have it, even if you have the skills, you are just completely ruled out because they, they can't change 
the, their equation. The company can't change their equation with their clients just because they can't find a candidate who can't speak German. So that doesn't, that, that's not the way it works. But there, then there are also many companies who don't require uh, German as such, who don't have German clients and the nature of work is such that they don't really need the German. Uh, most of the American companies, their culture is in English, like they, they, they normally speak English and the medium of communication is English. That's why in American companies, you will survive without German. But in most of the German companies, you need to have some basic proficiency in German to at least um, survive in the company and communicate with your colleagues well, share your ideas and to grow. So, but then last but not the least, learning German is 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 absolutely recommended because if you want to stay in the country for longer and if you want to grow in your career you have to switch jobs uh, you have to hop on from one company to the other and then if if you don't have the german language proficiency you can't really excel uh, so at the job that you are doing so it is always recommended to so to get that uh, so proficiency level so if you are doing an internship when you are studying a masters in germany then does the internship help you when you are applying for job after masters? So maybe you can uh, talk about it, highlighting your own experience. Uh, yes, like uh, if your internship, as I said, if your internship is in alignment to the job that you are applying to, then it will help big time. For example, in my case, I did my internship in Intel and I was working on an embedded project and ultimately, I, I, I was applying for embedded software, embedded hardware designing positions, which is why it was easy for me to get a job. I was, I got a job within one month of finishing my master's. So yes, like having, doing uh, internships and projects with companies that are in alignment with the master's, uh, with, with, with the job description that you are applying to will help you big time. We already discussed about this in the permanent residence video when we talked about getting a blue card after masters and then getting a PR. So here, maybe you can highlight in brief, you can check that video, it will be flashing on the screen uh, to know the details. So what I want to talk is like, uh, like in Netherlands, for example, we have something like a work visa and then there are different levels like uh, you get a highly skilled migrant visa or a visa for a scientific researcher, but everyone gets one work visa. So like that in Germany, do you have like different levels of work visa or the blue card covers everything or do you have visa on different salary levels? So how is it? How is the process? How is it decided? No, for, for working after a certain degree or uh, for let's say to work in Germany, there's just one visa that that covers all kinds of employment. Uh, so um, that you get in Germany, and that is the blue card. So blue card will, uh, so blue card will cover everything, right, from being a scientist to being an engineer to being. Uh, so everything that the blue card allows is covered under the one roof. So yeah, that is a universal work permit to work in Germany. Irrespective of your salary, right? Exactly irrespective of your salary okay so going into the final question on this video which mostly i get as comments like uh, how can you get a work visa from abroad for example india and is it possible like uh, to get that job seeker visa or whatever you call it yes so actually germany as i said uh, so has many vacancies and there are many many jobs that needs to be filled with skilled people which is why they have introduced this new, uh, so this new, uh, so, so job seeker visa, which, which, which allows people to apply for this job seeker visa directly from any other country. Let's say for, for, from India, you can apply for this job seeker visa and you can come over to Germany for six months and you, you can look for a job. If you find a job in these six months, then you can convert that job seeker visa into a blue card. And obviously you need to be eligible for that blue card. But if you don't have the, blue card eligibility, you can still apply for a temporary work permit. Let's say, for example, if you don't, if you're not eligible for a blue card, if you don't have the particular salary level, then you still get a temporary work permit, let's say for two, three, two years or three years or whatever. But uh, with that, you won't enjoy the privileges that you enjoy with a blue card. With a blue card, you can apply for a PR, but with that temporary work permit, you cannot, you are not eligible to apply for a PR. So you will have to get a blue card in order to be eligible 
to apply for a PR after a certain amount of years. Yes. Mostly the degree won't get you anywhere as far as the job seeker visa is concerned. It's mostly your work experience. So if you have a certain amount of work experience in an industry which is lacking um, labor in Germany or which is in huge requirement of uh, skilled people to come and fill in their jobs, then achieving or getting this uh, job seeker visa becomes a lot more easier than just having a degree and applying for a job seeker visa. Okay, so people sitting out there in India, I would recommend you to follow uh, what Ashish said, like uh, have some work experience after your degrees and then search for this. Yeah. Uh, but mostly, skills. mostly, mostly from my uh, experience and from experience with my uh, with my limited uh, network, what I've heard is you mostly get the job seeker visa if you have the if you have the work experience mostly in IT, in information technology sector, or mostly in uh, so niche areas which involve um, research and development. Only in these sectors that you are able to get that job seeker visa because your chances of getting a job in Germany are higher, which is why you get that visa. Okay, so thank you, Ashish, for giving your time on a weekend. And uh, I hope that you got some information out of this video. Then don't forget to smash the like button, share this video, help each other out, spread the uh, word. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Until next video, goodbye from Valkenburg, Netherlands.